Reading and Interpreting Statutes Introduction Dear Students, Enacted Laws Abound Dear Student, Welcome to the Law School Playbook. I'm Hallie Hara, a professor of academic success and personal skills coach to law students and attorneys. I'm glad you're here. The law school experience is so focused on reading and interpreting appellate cases that students sometimes overlook the central role that litigation plays in practice. The reading and interpretation strategies in this series of episodes pertains to many kinds of enacted law or requirements with the force of enacted law, such as statutes, regulations, ordinances, and municipal law. For ease of reference, however, I will refer to the coaching strategies in this series as reading and interpreting statutes. Many of the strategies used for reading cases also apply to reading statutes. If you remember, those suggestions included rethinking your screen reading habits to be a more engaged reader, finding your inner purpose for inspired, active reading, reading with energy to foster meaningful learning, finding your inner actor to role play as you read, reading with your common sense, life experiences, and prior knowledge in mind, formulating opinions as you read, and engaging in a dialogue with yourself for deeper understanding. There is one rule we will change, and that's speed reading, but we'll talk more about that in the next episode. For now, as we begin to focus on this topic, I want you to think of the sheer number of statutes that impact your daily life. Regardless of how you feel about the number, whether you believe it to be a good or a bad thing, there's no denying the presence of statutes in our lives. A somewhat extreme example appeared in a Washington Post article which stated, It may be surprising to learn that in many cities and municipalities, lemonade stands aren't supposed to set up shop on public sidewalks or roads without a permit, which often come with applications and fees. Just Google the topic and you'll find many stories from across the nation that involve police shutting down lemonade stands and imposing a fine due to failure to follow the law. Most Americans are familiar with workplace laws, tax laws, and criminal laws, and often learn of others in the news, like the law that bans the manufacture or sale of common household incandescent bulbs, and a national policy removing partially hydrogenated oils from processed foods. The internet is replete with lists of weird laws, like Little Rock's ordinance governing the sounding of horns at sandwich shops, which provides that no person shall sound the horn on a vehicle at any place where cold drinks or sandwiches are served after 9 p.m., from bingo games to fantasy football, there is no shortage of written laws that impact our daily lives. This is all to say that the skill of reading and interpreting statutes will be required of you, no matter what your practice area. So let's do this. If you would like to read this episode, get suggestions for further reading, or to request individual coaching with me, please visit my website at www.lawschoolplaybook.com. As always, do your best and I'll be rooting for you.